So today I'm answering some of the people that have left comments on our channel about the MT-09. And pretty much 99% of them are all positive. <laughs> There's always somebody that's not happy. But you can, you can bank on that no matter what you do. Even if you give away free money. You can watch this in 4K if you want. Now, I think the MT-09 has a split personality. It's the devil you know, and it's the devil you get on a bike and you feel like you're 18 years old and you want to go become a hooligan instead of the the, uh, <laughs> the refined citizen that you are. The MT-09 can do that to you. And But then there's people that think it's a, it's a great bike just to jump on and go for a ride. It, it's both. It really is. Just another hot day here on the farm, and we got up super early. We're going to pre-flight the bike, feed all the animals, pick the vegetables, and get out on the open road. And once summer gets here, it's pretty predictable what our days are like. We get all our farm chores done in the morning. We got always have to move some motorcycles around. And we, I've given up on the thought that maybe I'm going to get a bigger garage. And maybe Karen thinks the answer is to have less motorcycles. I don't agree. But anyway, that's why we have a good marriage. Two people that don't agree can still be friends. Karen and I are living proof of that. Anyway, to back to motorcycles. This is this is really the essence of it. it's a devil or an angel. Now, when it comes to the R1, it that's a focused bike that's really made to do one thing right. It's really made to be a track bike. But but the MT09 is not that focused. It does a lot of things well. And it does it does a lot of them so well that it draws you in. It really is a comfortable bike. It's great on a long trip. It's great on a short trip when you only have a couple hours. It's It gets great mileage. And what's really the best part of it is for a farm it, like what we have, I have limited amount of time. I try to use it up efficiently and I want every day that I can to get out on the open road. Now, in this devil and angel discussion that I'm having, this bike brings out the worst in me. I get on this bike and I start looking for an open space, an open road where there's no cars, no people, no baby carriages, no giraffes crossing the street. And I want to open that throttle. Not a cosmetic work I've done to the bike. I don't know if you like it or not, but to me it's a little devilish. Just a little. And my goal on every ride is to be riding as much of the ride as possible with nothing in the rearview mirror and nothing coming down the road toward me and as many turns and curves in the road as possible. And this area where I ride seems to have... It just couldn't be any better for what I like to ride, the way I like. And to me, it seems the MT-09 is the happiest when it's on twisty back roads. And even if they're a little slippery, it's got traction control. And the more turns in the road, the, the more off camber they are, the better. Now, I've taken my friend Bob out on his Hayabusa and this bike, and we've gone on Route 80. That Hayabusa is as happy as can be. The faster, the better. The MT-09, yeah, he's kind of bored on Route 80. But you get into these twisty back roads, and especially when they're a little slippery, and the Hayabusa gets a little uh, ants in his pants, and the MT-09 comes to life. And of course, it's really difficult for a motorcycle company to design a bike that's, that does many things well. I think they did a great job with the MT-09, making it a multi-purpose, 
You can see how slippery the road is here. All that crap winds up in the middle of the road every time it rains. But And the bike will still go out on Route 80 and uh, chase the Hayabusa's around, but it's it's right at home here. See all the stuff that sticks to the tires and all these shaded areas where you can't see it's damp and wet. That's the playground. That's where the MT-09 comes to life. And if you want to turn the bike into an angel, it's very, very easy. You pick a spot where you want to go touring, and you just drive out there casually like you're riding on a touring bike. And that just seems to be like it does more than one thing well. And that's unusual in any motorcycle, multi-purposing. And then the road opens up in front of you and all you want to do is go through the quick shifter and <laughs> multi-purpose. It's a devil some days. It's an angel. Either one. I had somebody comment on the channel that uh, they think the forks on a bike are too long. Well, maybe they're right, but that's why the MT-09 and it's machined right into the forks that you can load them and how much you can load them safely and conveniently. Yamaha has already taken that into consideration. Some people like the forks lowered a bit, like I do. Sometimes I wish I was a salesman for Yamaha selling MT-09s. The fact that they sell out every year is, is a testament too. The easiest job in the world would be to be at a demo ride day and just be at the other end of it and sell the bikes. You'd make a lot of money. A lot of money. And that's always one of the ways I tell if a bike is really good or really worth having. One of those, I go to Motorcycle Mall any big dealer and if they don't have any in stock they're sold out the minute they come in they're probably pretty good bikes and the ones they have that are leftovers three year old four years old i've never seen an mt09 leftover ever and i did hear a comment from somebody who had an mt09 and they test rode an MT-07, and they liked the 7 better than the 9. Well, that's very possible. And some people just like smaller, lighter bikes. And as I'm getting older, I kind of like smaller, older bikes too. And maybe I would like one, but I don't have an 07. And that's why I think it's a little bogus when somebody compares two motorcycles and then they say, this is the better of the two. Uh, maybe it's just their opinion. Maybe it's just what they like. It's always, always a little hard to tell. And the real answer always is, if you think you're interested, get a test ride on one at a dealer. If there's none available, you got to go to another dealer. Maybe you got to drive around a little bit. I don't know. I had to go to South Jersey to get mine. They were, they were sold out up here. And what I heard, they're pretty much sold out everywhere. But I went to South Jersey. And I never regret for one minute the time I put into researching this out and spending the time getting it and then chasing it down and Luciano driving me all the way down there to get the bike. It was worth it. On today's ride, he was a little bit of an angel there for part of the ride, a little bit of a devil for some of the ride, and that's the beauty of the MT-09. It is a multifunctional motorcycle, well designed.
Well, we really took advantage of a nice early morning of what the last half of this ride. It was really hot. It's over 90 in the garage right now. And I imagine it's going to get even hotter. But I always like on these really, really hot days, get out early, as soon as possible. And a lot of my friends go riding in the afternoon in the heat of the day. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe there's an IQ test to all this. I don't know about it. <laughs> anyway, every day you can ride. Always better than a day on Rikers Island. So if you're new to our channel, we do restorations. We go on rides. We try to uh, evaluate the equipment we have, old and new, historic and modern. We have gone to several track days, but we don't go to track days anymore. Plenty of people report on racing and things. We try to keep it. Information that you can use on your street bike to make it more fun to ride. Maybe save a little money. Maybe learn a little bit more about how to do some of the repairs. It's all about the passion for motorcycling. And if you're a devil or an angel, thanks so much for watching.